surgery went well. I, uh, I hope I wasn't out of line to authorize it. He just couldn't afford to wait. No, I'm, I'm glad you were here. Yeah, um, Monica and Tracy are on the way back. Have you spoken to the police yet? Not yet. They've been asking a lot of questions about drunk driving. I mean, the family has had problems with alcohol. Yeah, but even if he had a couple of drinks, there's no way that he could have been drunk enough to drive straight down the Carnival Midway, Jason. I mean, I don't know, maybe the accelerator got stuck or the transmission went into overdrive and, and the brakes went out. I don't know, but it, it had to have been something major to cause that much damage and to hurt that many people. Just let me know when he wakes up. Yeah. Listen, you're welcome to stay. I'm sure he would much rather see you than me. No, I doubt that. But I will be around if he needs me or if you need anything. Um, is it all right if I tell him you were here? Yeah. I mean, if you think it will help. Test results are not always a bad thing. I mean, if it were a fractured skull, it would say fractured skull. So maybe, I don't know, it's a concussion or something less. I just need to know that he's going to be okay. Hey, how's, how's Jake? Uh, our doctor says all we can do is wait. I'm so sorry. I, it must be awful knowing that Edward was driving that car. What, my, my grandfather? What happened? He had a heart attack. That's that's what I heard. I mean, all I know is that that he was he was driving and and he's in emergency surgery. Okay, that's terrible. That's terrible. Does your grandfather know that that Jake is your son? Okay, all right. Maybe that's a good thing because I don't think he would be able to handle it if he knew that he hurt his great grandson. Jakey, I know you can do this. You're such a brave little boy. He still drove his car through that crowd of people, collapsed a tent on a kid. I mean, do you think he'd feel any less guilty knowing that he doesn't know the kid is a relative? I don't, I'm really not sure what you're asking. I, I, right I, I, I just want to know why it happened. Lulu told you why it happened. He had a heart attack. Yeah, was it before or after he hit the midway? Was he drunk or not? Because before I found out it was Edward, I, wa I wanted to kill that person who was driving that car. And now it's Edward. And what if he was drunk? What if it was his fault? I just, uh... 
I feel, I feel sorry for him. I mean, he's lost so much already. Nicholas, I'm so glad I ran into you. Jake is, is gonna be fine. Wait. What do you mean? I didn't know he was hurt. Jake ran into the prize tent just before it collapsed. They thought he had a skull fracture, but it, it's okay. Is he still here in the hospital? Yeah, the doctors want to monitor him overnight, make sure he's okay. How's Elizabeth? Elizabeth and Lucky are fine. They're with him right now. They're just really relieved. All right, thanks. I'm going to go see if they need anything. Yeah. I don't know if you remember, but I did work for your grandfather for, like, a hot second. Yeah, that's right. You did. I did. And guess what? He was a master manipulator it, we were together at the time and the only reason why we kept me around clearly is because he wanted to continue to have contact with you we talked about you all the time i don't really remember that part well i remember and more than anything your grandfather was just he was really proud of you and he misses you he wishes that you guys were closer I don't, know, I don't know how to feel about Edward. I mean, in the beginning, it was so clean and easy for me because he wanted to control me, and, of course, I had to fight against him. I had to. I didn't want his legacy. I never believed him when he said he loved me. He didn't, he didn't need me. He had the others to control. He had Alan and Justice and AJ, and he had my grandmother, and he had Emily to love. And now everybody's gone. I think Edward needs you. And you need him too. It's times like these, I think about the secret that I'm keeping. I mean, I know how much it would mean to Edward if he knew he had a great grandson. I'm never going to tell anybody that Jake is my son. It's just kind of crazy that they both could have died tonight. We're connected through me, and neither one knows it. You know it. And I think that's why you stayed in the hospital tonight, to be here for Edward. It matters that you're here. Thank you. Well, I, would, I would say you're welcome, but I really didn't do anything. Yeah, you did. We didn't. We're not going to lose anything. He told me to have faith that he'd be okay, and he is. You're the strongest person I know. <sighs> Someone I always know I could count on. And so can the boys. I'm just so grateful Cameron went home early with the Goodsons. Should I call them? No, no. He's already going to spend the night over there, and uh, I'll just get him tomorrow. Okay. Are you going to stay here tonight? Yeah, I wouldn't be anywhere else. Well, Mac's probably going to need all the help he can get. Okay, go. I'll let you know if there's any change. And you're sure you're all right? Yeah, I'll be fine. And I'm going to run some more tests on Jake, and he's going to be fine, too. I just want you to know I'm grateful. To you. The boys, I just feel like we've become a family that I've always dreamed about having. You're just amazing. I'm just really glad you're in my life. Is Edward Quartermain still in surgery? Yes, and we tried to find his immediate family and no one could contact you, so... No, 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 it's okay. I understand that he needs a surgery. I'd just like to check up on him. 
Well, I will let you know when he's back in his room. Okay, thanks. How's, how's Christina? She's got her neck's ray. She's doing fine. Ed Wolf's driving the car. How'd that end? I have no idea. They think uh, maybe a heart attack, but he's still in surgery. you have any idea how, how many people were hurt? No, I haven't heard. You know, Jake was in the tent when it collapsed. Is he all right? I mean, they thought that he had a skull fracture, but now they think that he's going to be okay. That's great news. Yeah, thank you. What what happened to Christina? Okay, well, she, she was in the ride. They got hit. She got stuck in the wreckage. She's all right. Um, very close call for her and Morgan. Where is Morgan? Carly f took him home. He was in the midway. Car was coming straight at him. He froze. He panicked. Uh, Dominic shoved him out of the way. Got hit. How's Dominic? Internal bleeding. Looks like he may need a, a, a kidney transplant. This is just crazy I'm sorry, stuff. I'm going sorry on. to hear about that. Well, I got I got Bernie tracking down, you know, his parents, and I'm gonna have to be the one to talk to them. That's the last thing any parent wants to hear.